Hi, my name is Carrie Hines and I'm with the Texas A&M Forest Service as a program coordinator. We're here today to look at pruning young trees. Before you start pruning, it's important that you have the right tools. Some of these things might include uh, your classic garden shears. You might use loppers. For loppers, you really don't want to be trying to do anything more than about thumb size. For over that size, one of the tools that you can use are handsaws. So we have our classic handsaw and we also have a folding handsaw that's more compact. You'll see more professionals with these. And for really tall limbs, if you're feeling adventurous, you can use a pole saw. I also have my hard hat here and I have some uh, tree wound spray if I cut on an oak, which this is, in order to seal the wound to decrease the chance that it gets oak wilt. All right, so let's take a closer look at this tree. Always have a purpose in mind before you start making cuts on the tree. We're gonna use white ribbon today to mark the limbs that we wanna come off, that way we can take a step back and look at what it's going to do to the overall form of the tree. Small cuts make less damage than larger cuts. So if you can prune a tree while it's still young, and ideally when branches are under two inches in diameter, that will be the best for the tree over time. This tree is about six to seven years old. It was pruned two years ago to remove the lowest branches down around the bottom of the tree. You can see the old wounds right here and here. Today, we're going to continue to take off some of these lowest branches, or crown raising as it's called, to give us clearance underneath the tree. It's important to make a proper type of cut. That way the tree can seal itself off as it continues growing. To do that, you need to find two things. The first being the branch bark ridge, which this one has a really nice ridge right here. This is where the limb started growing out of the tree itself and you can see uh, some of the bark in between the limb and, and, and the trunk of the tree. You also want to find the branch collar. This is the slight swelling that occurs right where the limb starts growing out of the tree. If you cut just outside of the branch collar, the tree over time will grow over that wound and seal itself off. Since this limb is over an inch in size and is actually kind of heavy, we're going to use a handsaw to use the three cut method to protect the remaining tree uh, when we cut the branch off. The three cut method first uses a small undercut a little away from where we wanna make our finished cut to go slightly into the tree. We'll come around and we'll cut all the way through the branch. If there is any tearing on the underside, it will stop where we made the first cut through. Once the entire limb is gone, I'll come back and I'll make the cut where we had the string earlier. If you have a limb that's under an inch in size or about your thumb, you can use the loppers or even your hand shears to take it off. This one's in my way. We're now done with pruning the lowest limbs off of this tree. The last cut that we're going to make is about 10 feet up where there's a co-dominant stem. The main leader of the stem has broken off into two parts. Over time, that secondary stem can become too heavy and break and cause damage to the tree. It's important to remember that pruning may not be a one-time job. Over the years, as this tree continues growing, it may need more pruning in the future. For larger and more difficult jobs, we recommend you contact your local certified arborist for assistance. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Ask a Forester. Check out more videos on YouTube.